Damn, we're going to take a quick look at what we've got going on with the VV comic books. What books have gone up in price? What books have gone down in price? What is going on? All right, let's get right into it. If you like this type of stuff, if you like comic books, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Big Collectibles. And we're going to look at the last four weeks of data. Let me scroll over a little bit. And we're not in the uh, website that we normally uh, look at. We're going to keep this simple, straight to the point. We're looking directly into the Excel file. Marvel 1 is at $250, and that's uh, a loss in the last four weeks of 21%. You know, the big dogs are coming down, man. You know, uh, but you can see between the last two weeks, the last two weeks, things aren't going down as much. Uh, you can see it's, I mean, even the last three weeks, it seems like they're just moving just a hair, just a hair, the last, uh, three weeks. And, but then obviously when you add, when you factor all that in, because look, you can look at Marvel one, it went from the 14th of March, it was at 275 and it only went down $7 to 268 in a week. Then another week after that, it went down $18. You know, so it's not going down in chunks the last few weeks like we had seen previously, but still it's going down. You see, let's look at the big the big winners. The big winner here is right there, Amazing Spider-Man issue 3 at a loss of 14%. And then the biggest loser is New Mutants 98, a loss of 30%. That, looking at the total of all my comic books that I picked out that I think are the best, the commons, you're looking at a loss of 23% in the last four weeks. I'm waiting for, this, for these numbers to turn around. I'm waiting for it. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one here. We're looking at raw. Uh, I'm raw. Rare. Rare books. The best one is Daredevil 1, an increase in the last four weeks of 3%. And the biggest loser is Captain America issue 117. That bad boy is down 39% in the last four weeks. That is a total of all of the rare comic books a total loss of 19% of the comic books that I feel are the best on VV. Let's look at let's look at the uh, secret rares. All right, same comic book, secret rares. Last four weeks of data, we're looking at the biggest winner at 25% is none other than Amazing Spider-Man issue one, and then you also I threw in another one. We had Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, with an increase of 23%. And then, to go with it, Fantastic Four, issue 12, is the biggest loser at a loss of 25% in value in the last four weeks. All right. Just wanted to go ahead and share this. Uh, I I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm not going to post this on the website. Working on some big things going on right now and, and super busy. So I'm not going to post this on the website. You're going to have to refer back to the to the YouTube video. But you know what? Just for grins, I'm going to scroll all the way, all the way back to when I started this. January 15. And th these are the secret rares though. Let's go back and this the secret rare... January 15, Marvel 1 was $75,000, and right now, it's at $33,000. Let's look at the rare, Marvel 1. Back when did I, I did this, I did the rares later. I did the rares in February, February 8th. That was, the Marvel was $1,000 one, Marvel 1. Now it's at $690. Now let's look at the comments. Let's go... January 17th, January 17th, Marvel 1 was at $500. Look at that, January 24th, a week later, it was at 539 
And then that's when the bottom fell out. It was, I mean, you know, it just it started, the dip started, and it started hard. It went from 539 to 409 in a week. So it, it was at 500, and now it's at 250. So, you know, it's, um, it's, it's interesting to see. When you go back and, and you look back to uh, January when I started this, 500 to to 250. All right, you know, I don't know where this is going to go, you know, but you, again, you can see the, the numbers for yourself. You got to make your judgment call. You got to make your decision. Is this the time to jump back in uh, or you want to continue to hold? That's That's up to you. I don't know the future. But I, it's just, I see things that are slowing up. Look at what's going on with crypto, right? You know, the last few days. Crypto has seen some love, seen some serious love. I've seen my portfolio make some nice jumps. And I was fortunate. I was able to jump in in some crypto just before I saw the jump. So I, I'm, I'm happy with that. You just, uh, again, the money is made when the candlesticks are red. That's just That's just straight up how it works. Anyway. Look, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just showing you data. All right, everybody. Good luck in all your collectible decisions. Let them be profitable and most importantly, dope.